Associated Press releases new body camera footage of a May 2020 arrest in Franklin Parish after a high-speed chase. State police say Antonio Harris got out of the car and immediately laid on the ground. Investigators say three troopers used excessive and unjustifiable force. I'll break your f***ing arm if you don't relax this mother You understand me? More allegations of police brutality by Monroe-based troopers. I just laid there, and as I got a chance, I rolled over to my side with my arm in there. He said, did I tell you to stay there? I said, I'm down. He started whacking me with the flashlight. triggered a secret internal investigation. The Associated Press says seven LSP officials are digging into thousands of hours of body cam footage from the past two years in Troop F, which is based in Monroe. Why was the media the driving force to uncover the brutality and excessive force? And why didn't the state police catch it internally earlier? The panel is looking for signs of excessive force, racial profiling during traffic pursuits and stops. They are also checking to see if troopers mislabeled, turned off, or tried to hide body camera videos from internal investigators. I think what it shows is uh, a shocking and disturbing disrespect for the principles of that agency and also demonstrates that there was literally no concern or fear for being held accountable for violating departmental rules and for violating state law. Former prosecutor and crime expert Rafael Goyaneci says this investigation is strikingly similar to the Danzinger Bridge shootings that happened in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Officers responded uh, to that call and they opened fire on unarmed uh, citizens that were merely walking across the bridge. Six people were shot, two of them died. And the police engaged in a cover-up that went beyond just the officers on the bridge and included people in upper management that were part of the cover-up. The officers in that case were eventually convicted and a 122-page consent decree demanding an overhaul of the city's police force was put into effect. He believes this leaves hope for accountability that will likely come from the federal government's investigation. Jasmine Anderson.